So why not work those isometrically? So get into a 90-90 position, and you can even let me maybe like put this hip forward a little bit. Is trunk rotation gonna hurt your back right now? I don't think so, we'll find out. Okay, so rotate, so hold this. <laughs> It's got active back. Position. Turn your head to the right because you're going to rotate your trunk to the right. Hold your arm up in 90-90 and just rotate your trunk to the right. Good. And just do that back and forth. So again, doing this position is going to naturally set his scapula no matter how much he wings. Because if your goal is to stabilize the scapula, put them in a position that stabilizes the scapula. Right? We all, the, the EMG research, it shows Y's and T's activated really well. But how many times have you ever shown, have you even given someone Y's and T's and a scapula basically looks like, if it was a 3D movie, you would dodge it. You know, maybe you could even regress this a little bit and just hold it. I'm just gonna do this, or I can just do this, like hold it, Mike. So you can just be creative and do any kind of our variations uh, of bandit, or I can just give him like, hold it up like this, now you walk away from me, like if that was a fixed point. Don't let go. All right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so all that is like a regression, eventually working up to kettlebell carries.